It all began on a balmy day in October of 2001. Sonia sat staring pensively at a small box of Brussels Stouffer's chocolates that were given to her mother from her father. Oh, how delicious those sweet morsels look, she thought to herself. You see, Sonia had never had a piece of candy in the entire 12 years that she had been alive, because her parents were very concerned about the effects of high fructose corn syrup on a young child's development. Sonia reached into the box and picked up the smallest piece and carefully placed it in her mouth. Oh, how delicious, she exclaimed aloud. She reached out towards the box again and grasped an entire handful. Quickly, she devoured the contents of the package. Feeling the rush of sugar through her veins was such a high, and she knew she needed more candy. So Sonia set off on her bicycle to the local Publix because she knew they had an extensive candy selection, far better than that of a super Walmart. As she perused the aisles, Sonia filled her arms with all of the best-looking candies. She grabbed handfuls of peanut buttery chocolate Reese's cups, strawberry flavored Twizzlers, soft caramel Rolos, melt in your mouth, not in your hand M&Ms, and even a few whatchamacallits. Using her mother's Disney Rewards MasterCard so that she could gain more points towards their trip to Disney next month, she quickly purchased the candy. Sitting on the steps outside their Manhattan Fifth Avenue penthouse, Sonia savored each bite of that which had previously been forbidden. For days, Sonia continued her sneaky routine in order to obtain the sweets she loved so dearly. However, after two weeks, her parents began to notice a change in her behavior. Sonia slept a lot and became quite moody towards others. Fearing the worst, they searched her room for any indication of what may be causing this bizarre transformation of personality. It was under her bed that they found it. The wrapper to a king-sized Butterfinger candy bar. Oh, what should we do? questioned her father with a horrified tone in his voice. Oh, our beautiful daughter is going to become fat, worried her mother. She'll never find a husband if the chocolate makes her break out and we'll be stuck with her forever. No, I won't let that happen. As much as I love our daughter, she annoys the heck out of me. And I've been really hoping to marry her off ASAP. I've already bought her a Vera Wing wedding dress was studded with real pearls and sparkling diamond earrings. Here's what we'll do. Let's go to a drugstore and purchase some Ally, the only FDA-approved diet pill that has proven to work, and we'll sneak it to her. Her parents scampered off to execute their master plan. Both quickly donned disguises, and after purchasing the diet pills, they drove past the steps where Sonia sat, consuming various sugary substances. Hey there, little girl, said her father, attempting to, but failing miserably at sounding like Will Smith in his upcoming film, Seven Pounds, which will be released on December 19, 2008. You want some candy? Oh my goodness, shrieked Sonia. I love candy. I love candy more than Romeo loved Juliet, more than peanut butter loves jelly, more than asthmatics love air. Sonia grabbed the pill from her disguised father and quickly ate it. The next day, her mother disguised herself and drove past the house to offer Sonia the pills. Again, Sonia ate it without hesitation. She began to feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Gee, people are so nice, they keep giving me candy. A little while later, Sonia had run out of candy and she sat staring hopefully down the street. Soon, a large white Astro van drove up and the man inside handed her some candy then quickly drove away. Unfortunately, this time it was not her parents giving her ally, but rather a stranger giving her ecstasy. Sonia swallowed the little pill, had an allergic reaction, and died instantly. It was then that her parents decided that perhaps their little plan hadn't been the best idea after all, and they never should have taught their daughter to take candy from strangers. The end. I have the candy man.